we're going to take a look at how light travels as it hits a flat surface or flat mirror, also known as a plane mirror. Mirrors are made up of two parts. The first part is the transparent glass, which you can see at the front of the mirror. And the second part is the back, which is made up of a reflective surface uh, such as silver or aluminum. In science, though, we will uh, draw a shorthand. So the way we denote our mirrors is with these hash marks at the back. So the regular flat side is the front of the mirror, and the part with the hash marks is the back of the mirror. To show you how light travels when it hits these flat or plane surfaces, we're going to redraw our mirror, and we're going to also draw a line called the normal. The normal is a line that uh, intersects the mirror at 90 degrees, so it touches the mirror. The light then travels and hits the mirror where the normal and the mirror intersect. The light coming in is known as the incident ray. And the light that leaves the mirror, the reflection, is known as the reflected ray. We can also measure the angles here, and the, me the angles are measured off of the normal. And we denote it with the Greek letter theta in the subscript i for the angle of incidence, and the Greek letter theta in the subscript r for the angle of reflection. The angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. We can take these uh, pictures and flip them 90 degrees as well, which is how you might see them drawn sometimes. And everything uh, stays the same. So we can see our incident ray and our um, reflected ray, and then we have our angle of incidence here and our angle of reflection here. We're going to start with an easy example of predicting where you see an image in a plane mirror. So to start off, we're always going to draw our mirror, and you should be using your ruler to do that. Um, we're going to denote the back with these hash marks, just like we showed you before. And in this case, because it's a, our first example, we're just going to draw an object, and in this case, it's just going to be a circle or a dot. What you want to do is you want to measure the distance between the object and the mirror, and we're going to go back that exact same amount of distance. So this first green line is equal in length to this green line. Another really important part is that they are 90 degrees to the surface, and that is where the object is going to appear behind the mirror. To show you how light is going to travel, we need to add a couple things. So we're going to start off again with the exact same uh, mirror and object from before. But what we're going to do now is we're going to add an observer. So we will denote the observer by this uh, eyeball right here. Our light is going to start at the object. It's going to uh, intersect the mirror at 90 degrees and go back the same distance. And we are going to go ahead and draw the object back here as well. The next step is to draw how the light moves. So we're going to start with our image, which is the object on the back right. We start with a dotted line. And as soon as we cross the plane of the mirror, that line becomes solid. We're then going to go to our original object and draw a line of light that intersects. We're going to draw arrowheads here showing the direction of light, and that um, is how the light travels from the object, hits the mirror, and reaches the eye. Let's do this again, but this time with a more difficult image. So let's redraw our mirror, and this time our image is going to be an arrow. So same thing as always, we're going to start by measuring the distance to the mirror, but because it's a two-dimensional image, we should take two points. So we'll take the top of the arrow and the bottom of the arrow and go the exact same distance back. So again, you should be using a ruler to determine these distances. And we're going to identify these lines. Next, we can draw our, redraw our image back here. And that's it. So remember that these green lines are 90 degrees to the surface and are the same distance front and back. We can also determine how the light is going to travel from the object to the observer with these two-dimensional images. So we're going to draw the arrow again, determine the 
distance from the arrow to the mirror. Measure that with a ruler. These are 90 degree angles. And then we're going to add our observer just somewhere down here. It doesn't really matter where he is. And we're going to start again by taking the image that we found, which is the image on the right. And we're going to draw, start with a dotted line representing the light, then a solid line into the eyeball. And same with the bottom part of the image. We're then going to go back to our object, the original arrow, and we're going to draw solid light where they intersect top with the top and the bottom with the bottom. That's how the light travels from the object, hits the mirror, and into the observer's eye. The last thing we need to know is that we need to characterize all of our images in relation to the objects that started. So we can talk about these four characteristics. The size, is it bigger, smaller, or the same? The attitude, is it upright or inverted? The location in front or behind? And the type, is it real or virtual? So if you look back at our images that we just drew, for a flat mirror or a plane mirror, it's always going to have these um, characteristics. It's always going to be the same size. It's always going to be pointing the same direction as the object. It will always be located behind the mirror. And this is what's known as a virtual image, which we'll talk more about later. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, get subscribed, leave a comment below, and check out our suggested videos. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates.